السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته from Potichari, Srebrenica, Bosnia, East Bosnia. Today is Wednesday, 25th of uh, October 2017. If we remember Bosnia, the Bosnia War, which started 1992 to 1995, why I came here to Srebrenica, especially to see what happened to innocent people who have been brought up to these concentration camps, whether they are men or women. More than 12,000 people were put in these buildings, and this in front of us, this building, was the headquarters of the Dutch UN Battalion, or the uh, UN Battalion, which was there in this area. The war, Bosnia War, unfortunately, claimed the life of more than 300,000 people from both sides, from Muslim, from Serb, from Croat, and from everybody. And this is the price of any war. Nobody can win. Nobody will be able to win a clean war. If they, even if they come victorious. But today we are in Srebrenica and Puticari to see the people, the innocent people who came running away from the evil power of the machine of war. They came from Jippa, from uh, Pratunets, from uh, came here to Srebrenica to be protected in the safe haven of the headquarters of the United Nations the Dutch Battalion. Women were raped in this area and people, men were taken in hundreds and tens of people walking to the other side when you can see it there to be shot dead. While we are here, we hate war, we hate destruction, we hate killing of people, especially innocent people, and we have to fight hard to make peace, to stay, stabilize peace, and make it sustainable. Sustainable for the people of Bosnia, sustainable for the people of Yemen, sustainable for the people of Syria, sustainable for the people of Iraq, sustainable for the people of Libya, sustainable for the people of uh, Myanmar and Rohingya, sustainable for any people, for South Sudan, as well as for everybody. Because what we see here, what we see here in this area, which is the, one of the ugliest concentration camp after the Holocaust. This is, a whole, this is the Bosnia Holocaust. This is the Bosnia Holocaust after what the Nazis done to the Jewish people in Germany and in different places. We shouldn't let it happen again. All this area become a witness on the terrorist activity of systematic rape of women daily. Soldiers used to be take, given tablets to enable them systematically to rape women five or six or seven times. So you can imagine a woman like this or a young girl like this, like our daughters, who used to be systematically raped every day, a few times by soldiers who were actually given tablets by their superiors. This is one of the area they're living there. Actually, and this is another area in the factory, and this is the headquarters, as you can see it, of the United Nations Dutch Battalion. Supposed to be a key peacekeeping forces, but unfortunately, 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 they were not protecting the innocent civilians who came running out or running away from the aggressive and killing machine of war machine to come here. And they left the city and they left those people in the hand of these terrorist groups who killed at least 10,000 people in this area, young men and children. I'm entering now the headquarters of uh, the UN, the Dutch UN, who are actually here, as you can see, in this area. And this, after they left, after the UN forces left uh, this area, it was another place for thousands, thousands of people to be taken here. They separated men from women. You can see it here, the 1995 to 2015. This is actually the anniversary. And this is the headquarters 
of UN uh, uh, peacekeeping force, which of course from Holland. This is the factory, which you can see it now, it's, it's a fact. It's a fact that we don't want it to happen to any nation afterwards. We have to fight the evil forces of war. We have to fight the evil forces of terrorism activities. We have to fight the evil forces of radicalism and the extremism and the barbarism of the 21st century. You cannot imagine that in Europe, in the middle of the highly civilized nation of Europe, that we see such a massacre and that we see such atrocity and that we see such a systematic rape of women in this area. And this is what we can see, actually. And that was the world it woke up in three days. Three days. In three days, three days, 10,000 people at least were killed in this area, buried in different areas, were killed. 0.3% of the population of Bosnia, 0.3% of the population of, of Bosnia were killed in this area in three days. What an evil power of terrorism and extremism and radicalism by the people who did this and they think that they can get away with it, but humanity came and, uh, 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 and, is, and disrespect what they have done. Humanity refused what they have done. Humanity rejected what they have done. And justice came and took those people into court. It's not enough. It's not enough and will never be enough. Because what happened even in Hague to get the trial to the leaders of those people actually is not enough to bring the lives of 10,000 people who were killed mercilessly and thousands of women and girls who raped mercilessly in this area. Srebrenica, uh, Holocaust, is a scar on the face of humanity in the middle of Europe. Like the Holocaust, which happened after the Second World War, was a scar on the face of Europe in the middle of Europe. Never again to happen, never again to happen never again to happen to any nation. We all should stand up, fight the evil, the evil machine of war, the evil machine of extremism, the evil machine of terrorism, the evil machine of radicalism, no matter where it's happening, why it's happening, by whom it's happening. Should be united, to stand up for peace, to stand up for safety, to stand up for giving the hope to the generations to come and to teach our children, teach them not to let it happen again to anyone, whether we disagree with them or disagree with them. Never again to happen. Never again to happen. Never again to happen. And this is what you can see at that time. Some of the images here on this wall, children, women crying for their sons and for their husbands and for their fathers and for their nephews and for their neighbors and for their friends. Never, never, never let it happen again. Never, never, never let it happen again. Can see the images here. Here the remaining of the bodies of the shoes of the people. And this is the photographs of those three young men who were actually taken and were killed or slaughtered in a cold blood. Mothers cannot, cannot forget. Fathers cannot forget. Neighbors cannot forget. Wives cannot forget. Daughters cannot forget. So my appeal today is no more at any cost to have anything like this to happen to humanity again. And we should make the people who did it accountable for it, as well as the people who led them to become like a, an easy target to be accountable for it. Peace is what we want. Peace is what we want. And peace is what we build. 
Because we are peace builder, we are peacemaker, we are peace initiator, and we are peace, we are peace creator. Decide what we want to make United Nations to be accountable for it, to make the, the, the criminals to be accountable for it, and to make humanity and generation to come to witness no more, no more, no more, no more. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.